this is my breakfast for this morning. I'm going to consider this a flex meal. And I'm going to start off with, I get two power fuels and a smart car for breakfast on flex meal. So this is going to be my first power fuel. It's three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese. It's the fat free, great value. And three quarters of a cup is about 88 calories. And to that I added three grams of this jello cheesecake sugar-free pudding mix and that counts it's less than 10 calories so it's a freebie and i added um probably 10 drops of the hobbyland cheesecake flavoring i mixed it up and then i took the great value chocolate flavored syrup this has 10 calories for two tablespoons it's sugar-free and i drizzled on how much did i drizzle on um three grams there's 31 grams per serving so that's another freebie because 31 grams is 10 calories so three grams is not countable to me and moving over to every morning I start with 45 calories I count it as an other of my planet oat milk unsweetened I use that throughout the day one cup um, for my creamer and my coffee so I don't count that, although I should, but I just don't, never have from the beginning. Okay, so what does a protein bar have nutritionally? This one has pretty much very similar, very comparable to the one that Nutrisystem makes. So I was happy to find these in the store. They're much cheaper and um, they're a good fill-in here and there because this one is on the go with me this morning. That I have to leave soon, so I'll be taking it with me. So this has 180 calories, it's 45 grams in weight. It has six grams of fat, four of saturated fat, 21 carbs, nine fibers, and 12 grams of protein. So this is going to make up the other power fuel in the smart carb that I get because it's 180 calories. One of each either is starting with 80 calories, so that would be 90 for the power fuel and that's how I'm counting it and 90 for the small carbs so that makes one of each so all together I have two protein um, power fuels and two carb small carbs in this what you see here minus the oat milk I will see you at lunch here we are it's lunch time I'm so looking forward to this tuna salad like there's no tomorrow so let me tell you how I made it. I took two cups of mixed of lettuce, the green leaf, and also the dole. If you saw my haul from yesterday, you would have seen that I bought a bag of dole mixed. It's mostly iceberg. And what else did I put? Oh, a half cup of chopped up English cucumber. And I put about an eighth of a cup of chopped raw onion. And then to that I added just under two tablespoons of the Skinny Girl Italian dressing. I didn't want to go for the 10, the 11 calories. Actually, it's up to 10 calories is free. 11 to 35 becomes an extra. So I, I could have just put two tablespoons. Anyway, so I did put a little bit of the olive oil spray over top of the lettuce. No, not really anything to write home about, but it will give it the flavor. That was uh, what I was looking for. Um, so, so far up until this point today, I had 316 calories for my breakfast and my snack, the cottage cheese and including the oat milk. This is going to be 204 calories in total this lunch. I also am having these um, little um, pita crackers that I also bought yesterday. Uh, I counted out nine of them to put me at 120 calories because the full serving is 130. So that's gonna be my smart carb. The tune is going to be, it is 70 calories, it's just under. Funny thing, um, the one that I have here to show you which one it is, the sun-dried tomato basil. On the back of this pack, it's one I bought previously to yesterday. It says it's 60 calories. On the new pack that I got yesterday, it says it's 70 calories. So either way, it's under the 80, but I'm counting it. I've had a lot of protein today, I'm not worried about it. And so this is my lunch. I get one power fuel and I get one small carb for lunch plus my vegetables. 
which this all together is going to make um, two and a half vegetables the way I have it here and I um, I will see you either at snack if I have that or I'll see you at dinner I forgot to mention that I did put some crispy onions I don't know that you can see them there because they kind of really blend in I put five calories worth so they're free but I can taste them they taste really good on top of the salad and I wanted to mention this lock and lock this is was given to me as a gift from my sister in spirit Terry she always gives me the best gifts and I use this to carry my salad over today I'm not home so I just thought I'd mention it you can get these on QVC or HSN I think you can also get them on Amazon and they're really great they really seal well which is a really um, nice feature when you're traveling and you bring things that have sauces or dressings and stuff you don't want them to spill out okay see you at snack or dinner for my dinner tonight I am having this plate which consists of these diced tomatoes that I cooked on top of the stove the Italian style um, I put it, this is a cup worth on there and probably half a cup of V8 juice that I cooked with it and in addition to that I added a small onion sauteed with garlic and garlic powder and I sprayed the pan with the olive oil spray so I cooked these tomatoes for about I don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes like that and what I have in this plate is two ounces of cooked whole wheat rotini that I had in the freezer portioned out and over top of that I have two of the original Boca spicy chicken veggie patties I did not eat my power fuel this morning for a morning snack so I'm taking I'm borrowing from that I guess you could say um, it's not exactly adding up with the formula for um, Nutrisystem but I'm good with it because I know I'm not going to finish all of my protein um, power fuels today so in any event over top of the I microwaved the little chicken patties these are the vegetarian app um, I forgot to mention that for people who don't aren't familiar I put them in the microwave for a minute and a half then I threw them into my air fryer sprayed them with a little olive oil spray cook them for like two and a half minutes turn them and then another two and a half minutes because I they were soggy to me I don't like soggy now it's probably gonna be a little soggy but I don't I don't know the breading was like not appealing so I put these over top of the rotini then I put over top of that more of the diced tomato sauce and then I put a tablespoon and a half of freshly grated pecorino romano now when you use freshly grated which is not a big deal to do, it lasts forever. Um, you get more bang for your buck because it's only 20 calories a tablespoon. So a tablespoon and a half came to be 35 calories. I was gonna put provolone cheese on this and then I did the math and I said, now I'll go with this grated cheese for tonight. If I wasn't gonna have the two patties, I would have put the provolone thin sliced. Um, so I'm going to be back with what I'm having for dessert and then I'll tell you about the overall day and in the meantime I'm going to go enjoy this now I'll be back hello everyone if you made it this far thank you very much for sticking around and if you've never been here before and if you're returning I'd like to welcome you to my channel healthy living with Ro D and I'm Ro let's go over the day today was a flex day for me up until dessert dessert is going to be an ice cream sandwich so that's not flexing obviously i am hoping that i'll be able to eat it it sounds delicious but i'm not having it for a while because i'm very stuffed for my dinner i wanted to quickly go over how i arrived at that dinner i didn't starting this morning i had now remember, keep in mind please that I'm on 1200 calories now. So with that being said, I had the strawberry bar 
and the cottage cheese. So that the strawberry bar counted for a small carb and a power fuel. Forgive my bandage. Use the knife. Very, my knives are very sharp. You would think I would know that, right? Anyway, okay, so then I get an extra power fuel. So let's say the bar, we can consider a Nutrisystem entree. In addition to that, you get the extra power fuel. And um, so, and that's regardless of 1,200 or 1,000 calories a day. So I had the cottage cheese, so that's my second power fuel. So breakfast was two power fuels and a small carb. Now I also would get an AM snack, which would normally be my shake. I did not have that today. So that is an extra 80 to, 100 cal 80 to 120 calories of lean protein or that the shake. So that's in my, I banked that one. For my lunch, I had the tuna and the crackers and the salad that was out of this world. And that was because for, for lunch I get a power fuel and a smart car. And I had that, the tuna was the power fuel and then the crackers was a smart car. So we're good with that. Afternoon snack I never had, which would be a power fuel and a smart car. So I want to just double check. Yes, afternoon snack because you get three of them on the 1200 calorie days. Didn't have those. Coming, bringing myself up to dinner. Now I did have the two um, vegetarian chicken patties. They were 140 calories each. So if you follow me for a minute with the math, I only had two power, um, extras today. One was the 45 for the oat milk and the other one was the cheese, the grated cheese. So the grated cheese was only um, 30 calories. So borrow that, give it to the, you're talking about a minuscule amount of calories. So that being as it may be, I didn't use all of, of those today. I didn't really have very much in the area of less than 10 calorie extras either. I did have it at my lunch, um, but not as if I had it each time so to speak, where it adds up to, if you're doing five meals, three meals, six, many, five meals and three snacks, you could be putting yourself to 80 calories right there, or, because it goes up to 10 calories, then from 11 to 35, it becomes an extra. Okay, so dinner, the ch chicken, now again, dinner is supposed to be two power fuels, so that would be the two chicken patties, which goes over by 40 calories. And um, so I'm borrowing those from the morning power fuel that I didn't need is what I wanted to say. I'm sorry, I'm making, I always do this. I make it very complicated when it's really not. The macaroni was my smart carb. The two chicken patties were my two power fuels. And the overage of the 40 I'm taking from the morning, which could have been 80. So I have 840 left, whatever you want, however you want to look at this. So now um, for my dessert, it's either going to be the ice cream sandwich, which most likely that sounds like it would really top off my evening. Um, or if I did a flex dessert, it would be one power fuel and one smart carb. So all together today, including the ice cream sandwich, I have eaten without the veggies naturally because we don't count them the non-starchy veggies 1015 out of my 1200 I feel absolutely satisfied I enjoyed everything I ate so I don't know what to say but I have been this is the end of my fourth week on nurture system because I started with all flex before I actually got the food I followed just the formula and I keep forgetting that because I've been counting calories since October 22nd of 21. Religiously, I lost the 15 pounds before I started the Nutrisystem because I was stalled. Um, and that's why I just started. And also watching Kim, a girl on her phone, brought me back to when I was on Nutrisystem previously. And I became very interested again because truthfully, I, I just totally forgot about Nutrisystem. Strange, but true. So... Today, I'm proud to say, I'm going to look at my watch. 
if I show it to you, it'll be backwards. I'm pretty sure it'll be backwards. So I, I won't bother you with that. I have done 12,072 steps today. I am so excited about that. I'm actually elated. I feel so relaxed. And I did it all indoors. Most of it I did at my son's house because he has a center hall. So I go around and around and around with the dog and I play with her and I go around and around. And I have the TV on. I had on um, CSI Las Vegas today. I started that from the beginning. So on Hulu. So I'm really happy about that. My intention is to keep it up. I want to get to the point where I'm outside doing 4,000 steps within an hour. That's generally like three miles an hour. I, I'm walking about three miles an hour when I do that and then add on the 12,000 steps. That's my goal. So I'm going to work toward it. But after today, I know I'm ready. And also the fact that I ate well today. I felt very, in myself, in my body, I felt that the food that I chose was doing whatever it needed to do in there to make me feel well. If that makes any sense to you, I don't know. Um, in any event, I am going to leave you now. I'm going to thank you all again for subscribing. Those of you who haven't, if you would like to be notified, provided you like my content that much, every time I upload, please subscribe, hit that bell. And if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. I, will, I am going to talk more about, and please join the Facebook group. I'd love to have you in there. Um, the link is in the description box. I really would like to do something with that group. It's really kind of stagnant right now. Nothing is really happening. And I am going to keep up with, as I grow, I hope to grow to 100, as I mentioned already. I want to, um, the day of, whoever comments on the video, I will then draw from a hat or whatever. Everybody's name goes on <clears throat> a little slip of paper, and then I pick someone, and they will get something in the mail for me. Something nice. So we'll talk more about that again. And now.